So there might come a time when you're given a budget or you have a budget to get a laptop for work. Now there are two options for you. One, you could be sensible and you could get a laptop that's capable of Word and Excel and PowerPoint and maybe a bit of chat GPT. Or you could go with option two and get an absolute gaming beast which you can disguise as a laptop that's just for Word and Excel and PowerPoint and chat GPT. So I'm an advocate for option number two and that's why I've partnered up with HP Omen to show you guys the Omen 16, the new one, 2023 edition because this thing is fire. So if you are in the market for a gaming laptop and you're already shopping around, you probably already know there's a bunch of things that you need to pay attention to. But for those of you not so familiar, things you need to keep an eye on, the type of ROM, the type of RAM, the CPU, the GPU, and the Achilles heel in many gaming laptops, the cooling system. And this newest version of the HP Omen has a very advanced cooling system. They call it the Tempest. And this is the spec'd out model of the Omen 16 gaming laptop. It has the AMD Ryzen 7, which can run up to 5.1 gigahertz clock speed, 16 megabyte L3 cache, eight cores and 16 threads. And it's rocking the Nvidia GeForce 4060 with eight gigabytes of dedicated GDDR6. And then there's 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, as well as a one terabyte NVMe Gen 4 M.2 SSD, which is incredibly fast. So on paper, this is a beast, but at a glance, you could mistake it for a work laptop, especially when you turn off the RGB. So there's just one question. Is this laptop, the HP Omen 16, codename XD-001NA, a bad omen or a good omen? Well, let me show you with some benchmark scores. So this was the first 3D benchmark. Now you might be thinking, wow, this is relatively low for a laptop of this spec. And that's because I ran this test whilst it was below 20% battery and not running on the power supply. And I didn't adjust any of the settings within the gaming hub, just so you can see the contrast between the minimum performance and the maximum. So I plugged in the power, dialed up all of the settings to the ultra performance mode and turned on max power on the Tempest cooling system and re-ran the 3D mark with Time Spy. And this is the result. And as you can see, the performance is excellent. Everything ran smooth with minimal throttling throughout. I also ran the in-game benchmark on Red Dead Redemption 2, and the results were also excellent with the game averaging around 77 frames per second and maxing out at times at the peak refresh rate of the screen, which is 165 Hertz. And here's the Cinebench multi-core score, and you can see it performed really well here, ranking just below the AMD Threadripper. And check out the single core score at the time of this video, it's ranking first place with a score of 1,544. So I know some of you guys, when I read out the specs, probably guessed that they would perform this well, but I do believe this is a combination of HP's expertise and the fact that they've been making Omen laptops for quite a while now, but also the fact that this has a very, very good cooling system built in. And thanks to this cooling system, this might be one of the coolest HP Omen gaming laptops to date. And it's safe to say that this is a good Omen and it's fire for gaming on because it's powerful, but it runs cool. So you can tell that HP have paid a lot of attention to detail with the HP Omen. And if you guys want to get a close up, more detailed look at the laptop, definitely check out my first impressions video, which I'll link at the end of this one. And here's something else that I really like about the design of the laptop and more specifically the charger. It's a slim power brick, which means it's easy to fit in your laptop bag, but it's also incredibly fast at 240 watts, which means you can get this laptop to 50% battery in just 30 minutes. And if you want the peak performance like you've seen in the benchmarks in this video, I do recommend using this laptop whilst on the power. And if you're running off the power, the battery will last up to three hours if you're doing heavy gaming. But if you're doing work, for example, Word documents, Excel, PowerPoints, and ChatGPT, HP say that this laptop can last up to eight hours. Now, I would have tested that theory, but that seems like a lot of work. So let's talk about the display on the Omen 16. It is a full HD IPS LED panel, 165 Hertz, 300 nits, peak brightness, 100% sRGB. It's got anti-glare coating on it and a certificate from Two Rhineland for the low output of blue light. And because the display is HD and not 4K or even 2K, 
it's less demanding on the graphics and it's less power hungry. So that's a win-win. And this means you could dial up all your graphics settings as far as they will go for the HD screen without having to worry about performance. So it's safe to say that the Omen 16 can pretty much handle anything you can throw at it. And of course, if you really want to, you could do some work on it. And there is a webcam built in with a really nice shutter here, which can lock off the webcam. There's stereo mics as well as a little LED indicator to let you know when it is active. And if you are doing conference calls, you don't necessarily have to use a mic or a headset because you could just use these. But if you want to, you can use the analog jack or the Bluetooth 5.3 connection to connect up a headset. And if you look closely, you'll notice the banging Olufsen branding here. They have tuned the speakers on this laptop and the speakers are located underneath the laptop on the left and right hand side. All right, now let's move on to something that I'm excited to show you guys. It is the HP Omen Gaming Hub. So you can quickly open this at any time just by hitting the little diamond key here on the keyboard. So if you're thinking about getting a laptop specifically for gaming, I think you're gonna love this. So within the gaming hub, you can collate your gaming collections here. For example, Steam, Epic Games, Xbox, Live Pass, everything here all in one. And you can even have your cloud game library available here as well. You can keep track on how little or how much you're playing games. There is a gallery, so you can collect screenshots and wallpapers from all the games that you play and have them all in one place so they're easy to find, easy to share. Then you've got the optimizer. So you have the booster setting here and also the cleaner setting. So these are really gonna help you optimize the laptop for gaming. And if you're into game streaming, you're gonna love the features that are provided here. So you can adjust the quality of the camera, you can blur the background, add effects, and also adjust your voice pickup and get rid of background noise, for example, fan noise or whatever's going on around you whilst you're game streaming. There's also the Omen Light Studio. So this is where you can get really granular on the different color LEDs on the keyboard. And there's a ton of different effects available. So you can really spend a long time on this. And then we have the most valuable menu of all. It is the specific Omen 16 gaming menu. Here you can see system vitals. So how the computer is performing at the current time. You have the network booster. So you can see what's going on in the background, what's using network bandwidth. You've got your lighting here, so you can do some basic lighting adjustments, which I prefer more than the light studio. It's just easier to use. You've got performance control as well, where you can switch it to eco if you want to save battery and you're just doing your Word documents and your Excels. And then you've got performance mode. And then here you can adjust the fan to maximum. And when on maximum, you can probably hear it right now. It is quite loud. But if you've got your gaming headphones on, you're not gonna hear it at all and your system's gonna run at its optimal speed. And then the last tab is the graphic switcher. So you can switch it from hybrid graphics and this is more for your Word and your Excels and your PowerPoints. But when it's time to get your games going, you can switch it to discrete, which is designed for more graphics intensive tasks. So you can see that this HP provides everything that you need to succeed when gaming and also for work. And if you wanna check out my unboxing video and first impressions and get a closer look at all of the fine details on this laptop and including some of the things I didn't mention in this video, that thumbnail is on screen right now. Go check that out. If you got any value out of this, little thumbs up, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you've just done that, I will see you in the next one. So don't be late. The rest is quite simple, really.